So how can you, a player of Fallout 4, make your companions better in game? In today's video, I'm going to show you a number of different mods that are out there right now that give you the ability to improve and really just enhance the companion experience in Fallout 4. Now, something I do have to mention with this video is to pick the mods, you have to make a lot of choices. So I made a lot of choices in the mods I'm showing you. There are a number of different companion overhauls or variances for a lot of different companions out there. The thing being that many of them are not compatible with each other because, well, of course, they modify all the different companions. You can't really have two mods that overhaul all the companions in the game because that'll probably result in some conflicts and all around just not a pleasant experience. In addition to that, there's a number of mods that take on individual companions. My idea with this video was if you just wanted to download a few mods to really improve the companions in Fallout 4, these would be the mods I think you should download. If you wanted to spend a few hours going through all the different mods and find specific individual mods that do impact one companion alone, you probably could do that also. I didn't want to do that for this video because I just don't think many of you want to have 10 different mods for each of the 10 companions in the game and at the end of the day most people only use one or two maybe three companions at any given time with that being said if you guys think i forgot a pretty overwhelming mod just make sure to comment it down below maybe i'll make a follow-up video or add an annotation on screen or something like that and also something i probably should have mentioned at the beginning this is just editing the vanilla companions i'm going to make a video in the future about new companions that are downloaded through mods but these ones again are just editing the companions in fallout 4 in general with that being said let's just jump right into it so if you wanted to just download one singular mod to really improve companions overall, at least aesthetically, this would be the one you want to download. And the mod I am showing you is the Companion Overhaul 9000 GTX Supernova by Eleonora. Eleonora is a very well-known mod author in the community. She does make a number of different housing mods, as well as more recently, she's been releasing a ton of different outfit mods. So what this mod is going to do is edit the faces, as well as some of the clothing of every companion in the game, minus three. That being Hancock, Nick, and of course, Dogmeat. The reason these three are left untouched as Eleanor herself does say that there are a number of other Hancock and Nick Valentine mods that she prefers to use over this one. And of course Dogmeat is, well, it, she doesn't have any clothes and I don't really know how you get into editing his face regardless. Every other companion in Fallout 4 does find themselves looking in my eyes much more aesthetically pleasing. I hesitate to say attractive because it is a video game after all. Most of them are featuring brand new outfits whether they be from other outfit mods from Eleonora or even just some of the vanilla ones did stay because well not all the vanilla outfits are that bad but again if you just wanted one mod to download to improve the companions overall in your game, I think this is the one, especially with the faces. You're going to be looking at your companion's face a lot through different chat dialogues and really just interacting with them in general. I think this mod is a huge improvement over the vanilla game. This is the one I've personally been using pretty much since it's been released. I've actually gotten a lot of comments on different videos about people asking what mod I do use for companions, since again, the vanilla faces aren't that good, and I feel like this mod just makes the right improvements to the right characters. Again, if you just want a quick and simple companion fix, I think this is the mod you're going to want to download. But for those of you that don't just want an aesthetic fix, we do have a mod that can improve the gameplay and more importantly, the combat of some of your different companions. And that's going to be done with more smarter companions mod. Interesting title, but nonetheless, what this is going to do again is change the AI and really just some of the fundamentals of many of your companions. So this mod really does two big things. First and foremost, it improves companions overall. There's a lot of changes here. I really recommend you do read what you're downloading. But some of the major ones, basically companions now are going to have a luck stat and they're going to be able to critical hit different enemies. As you and your companions level up, they'll actually start dealing more damage to different enemies, and especially certain enemies over a certain level, they will do more damage to them. If they find themselves too close to an enemy, they will pull out a melee weapon as long as you have given them one, and they receive different perks for weapons that they would prefer. So like Kate would prefer a baseball bat. So then the other part of this mod is the individual changes to a lot of the different companions. I feel like this is where this mod really shines. What it does is make each companion feel a lot more unique. For example, Dance. He is a pretty tanky guy. His character is in power armor so he's going to be more of a fighter he's going to go out in the open use heavy weapons he actually has a new ability now if you get under a certain amount of health he will actually run into the enemies to try and distract them while you heal yourself on the other side you have deacon who is going to be very frail and weak and actually prefer stealth to anything else he now has an ability where he can do a six times sneak attack with his different rifles and if he does get close enough with a melee weapon he can do a 14 times stealth attack on different enemies this mod gives a lot of different details to all the different companions in the game I feel like this mod really supports the lore as well as gives you some different abilities and gives your companions different abilities as well. One of my favorite throughout the whole mod is Piper. Since she doesn't trust Synths, she actually does more damage to robots. But even beyond that, since she of course does have a newspaper, she has different contacts and she actually can convince different enemies through blackmail to join your side. Now I'm not going to go through each of these individual companions. Again, every single one in the game does have a very cleared out effect and what their little story is on the mod page. It is really nicely laid out. I do encourage you to go read it or really just read whatever two companions you are using 
using at any given time, but this one definitely has a pretty substantial impact on gameplay and it really makes each companion feel very unique and just the experiences with them very special. So to wrap things up, we are going to cover some mods that are specifically for dog meat. I personally really love having dog meat as a companion. I imagine a lot of you guys do as well. Well, the one fundamental companion mod with dog meat is everyone's best friend. I think this is just a better way to experience the game. Basically allows you to have dog meat as well as one other companion at any given time. I'm sure a lot of you guys have this downloaded already in your game. So I didn't want to just include that as a mod. So to go along with it, I do want to definitely say get the canine harness mod also. Basically, it's going to add in a very customizable as well as very cool tactical body armor for dog meat. You can change the colors, change some of the different logos that do appear on it. And even beyond all that, it has some practical applications as well. It actually does increase his health so he doesn't take as much damage and get down nearly as often. And if you do equip the armor with some of the different backpack options, his carry weight will without a doubt be increased. And it really just makes the game again, a much more enjoyable experience. I wanted to kind of package these two mods together because they're without a doubt the most well known out of the bunch, but I don't think they should be overlooked because I imagine at least someone watching this video does not have these all. Plus I think if you download all these mods, basically every companion will be a better experience in Fallout 4. Obviously, Hancock and Nick aren't going to have those visual improvements, but you could really easily fix that by just searching for two mods to visually improve them, or don't do it at all. Due to more smarter companions, they still will have better combat, and I think it just creates a better experience overall. All around, I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. I thank you for watching. Again, let me know in the comments down below, did I forget a mod? Is there something that I didn't include that I should have? And also, let me know, what of these is your favorite companion? Do you have one that really stands out to you? I personally always really enjoyed Dogmeat. He's without a doubt my favorite favorite, but I typically do include Kate with dog meat because I feel like it's just simpler when the companion runs up and smacks people down with a bat. When they try and use a weapon, they miss, or I just end up getting frustrated with them. Regardless, as always, again, I thank you guys for watching. I do hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you all next time. Later!